guys, welcome back to my channel and today we'll be talking about how to sell stuff online for extra cash. Now, we're mostly going to be talking about doing this on a small scale, like just selling things you have that you no longer want or no longer use to make a little extra money online. Um, we're going to be primarily talking about, you know, um, situations where we're shipping items, not really like Facebook marketplace or anything like that. So. Um, for starters, you need to choose a platform. I feel like the three main ones are eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. Now, actually, a lot of people have said they haven't heard of Macari. That is primarily where I sell. I feel like, I don't know, I like their system. I feel like their fees are a bit lower than Poshmark's fees. Um, that was the main thing I didn't like about Poshmark. And Poshmark is also primarily, like, women's clothing. Like, I do know people sell other stuff on there. But, like, women's clothing and accessories is, like, the primary focus over there. So, I mean, if that's what you're going for, go for it. But I would say, like, I feel like more higher-end stuff. Like, if you're selling, like, cheaper things. <laughs> like, you know, for example, a lot of my clothes are from, like, Torrid, Maurice's Old Navy. That type of stuff just doesn't sell well on Poshmark when I've tried to sell it. Um, I've had way better luck with Macari eBay, eBay can be good, but the big problem with eBay is I think because it's such a large platform, um, sometimes I feel like things get lost on eBay. Uh, like in recent years, I have had very little luck selling anything on eBay because I think the platform has just gotten so large that sometimes, especially when you're so selling something really specific, like you can sell it on eBay, but it might be sitting there for a while. The things I like about Macari is they have, like, a like system. So people can like your item, okay? So that gives them notifications. Like, if you you can promote your listing, which does a price drop, um, it does it takes 5% off whatever your price is. It does a price drop, and then it sends that notification to anyone that's viewed your listing, to people who have liked it. And you can also send offers to likers, which is a separate thing. Where it's a similar thing, you know, it's dropping the prices, whatever. The promoted listing, the price drop is set, but for um, the likers, you can decide. You can offer, like, let's say you're really trying to get rid of something, so you really cut that price down to your likers. I would recommend waiting until you have at least three or four likers before sending that offer out. Um, and I've noticed, like, the more likers you have, the more likely you are to... Um, sell the product that way so that's kind of the beginning second thing research your items I mean regardless of what platform you are selling on I mean check all of them see look at sold listings see what items similar to yours have sold for you know I think it's really important to be knowledgeable about what you're selling you know I think sometimes people will look at a posting that's selling for way more than what it's worth and they'll be like like who is this person but on the flip side of that you also don't want to be getting ripped off you don't want to sell something for way too cheap when you could have made a little more money off of it so do your research kind of figure out what your item would be priced at what are similar items selling for uh one thing i recommend um so makari one another thing i like is and i mean i'm pretty sure poshmark and ebay do these things too but um, you can, pr they will send you a shipping label once your item sells. Now, when you're creating your listing, you can choose free shipping. I always do paid, but even if it's free shipping, you can, you know, weigh your item. I recommend buying a shipping scale. I think my shipping scale I got for like 25, 30 bucks off Amazon like years ago, but you can get cheaper ones and it does not have to be anything fancy. You're just weighing your items to see how much they weigh to ship. Because you don't want to, you know, set your shipping for a pound, but it only weighed eight ounces because sometimes every ounce counts when you're shipping. And then the other thing is, if you don't have your weight right on your item, they will charge you whatever that additional weight was, which cuts into your profits. And you don't want that either. Um, supplies. Okay, so one thing I recommend doing is if you're getting packages, save your boxes. Save your boxes. I mean, let's say you don't want to, you can even I mean break them down and retape them. 
um, when the item sells, but save your boxes from packages because it's going to save you so much money on supplies. Like I've sold a bunch of stuff recently and I've literally just been using all boxes that I had from different things I bought off Amazon, Walmart, all sorts of different places. So that's going to save you money. Also, poly bags. Poly bags, you can get, I will link some poly bags from Amazon down below. You can get poly bags in all sorts of um, shapes and sizes. So basically a poly bag, you've probably seen them before. It's kind of like the like bags that they ship stuff in that doesn't have the bubble wrap on the inside. I for the longest time was buying bubble mailers and bubble mailers are significantly more expensive than poly bags are. I didn't know about poly bags. I didn't know they were just something you can buy. Um, it's way cheaper, especially if you're sh doing a lot of clothing. It's way cheaper to ship clothing in a poly bag. So I recommend poly bags. And you know, it is kind of fun. You can buy poly bags in all sorts of patterns. I've bought in pattern ones before. Honestly, I think the ones I have right now are like blue. You can get them in different colors. Um, I honestly just go on Amazon and buy whatever ones are cheapest. <laughs> I don't really really care but if you want the fun pattern ones that definitely is an option and same thing with saving boxes save bubble mailers if you can I have a bunch from Ipsy that I've saved I have some other Amazon ones that were still in decent shape that I saved as well so I mean reusing those shipping materials can really save you money um and also uh packing tape you're gonna need packing tape I recommend I recently got the Amazon basics packing tape for the first time it is amazing. It slides out so smooth and the packaging has like a safety guard so you're, there's no risk of cutting your finger on like that sharp edge. So I highly recommend the Amazon Basics again. That will be linked down below. You can get a six pack for like $13. Great deal. Great deal. Definitely recommend buying. If you're, I mean like I buy my poly bags mall. I buy my packing tape in bulk. It doesn't take a lot of room up. If you're going to be decent, selling a decent amount of things, and even over time, like my thing of poly bags, I've been working on for a couple years. But in the long run, it saves a lot of money buying the stuff in bulk, even if it takes you time to use it up. Like, I bought a six pack of packing tape probably like two years ago, and I just used it up. But it was 13, it's like $13 for six, or it was like five or six dollars for one. I mean, might as well just buy the six, right? Um, also, shipping labels. So you have some options. If you want to invest in a thermal printer, you can do that. However, they're not the most, they're not always the most user friendly. Like I cannot figure out how to use mine. I've had it for a long time. I can't figure out how to use it. Like it doesn't print the labels properly for me. And they are expensive. My thermal printer was like $130 plus I had bought the labels for it. Um, just get a, if you have a regular printer, just use that. Just printer paper. You know, my printer is not an expensive printer. It was like 70, 70, 80 bucks. I'll link the printer I have down below. And it works perfectly fine. I cut the labels out. I glue it on with, or not glue, tape it on with some packing tape call it a day. It's, it's easy enough, you know, it's a lot easier than trying to figure out how to use the thermal printer. And it's, it's a lot cheaper too, honestly. Like, yeah, would it be convenient to just have a sticker label to slap on there? Sure. But, um, it, it's cheaper. This way it's just cheaper. And especially if you're Shipping on a small scale. I mean, a regular printer has several different uses. I mean, ink does add up, but for me, I mean, I buy a thing of ink and it lasts me several months. So, yeah. Um, also, shipping promptly. So, Macari has a system where they want you to ship within three days. There's no penalty necessarily, uh, but what I will say is. You know, like for me, I usually go to the post office. I drop packages off at the post office lately. It's been like twice a week. Um, like if you know, hey, I'm not going to get to the post office 
this item sold on Monday right after I had taken the rest of my orders to the post office and I'm not going to get to the post office again till Friday. Communicate that with your with your buyers because, you know, it's going to help you. I have five star ratings. Um, but communicate with your buyers. Just be like, hey, I saw that you bought this item. Um, like, I saw that you bought this item. I will be shipping it on Friday. And most of the time people are more than understanding. I mean, you know, if you buy, unless you're buying off like Amazon or Walmart or something, it's going to take a minute for it to ship and get to you. So most of the time people are pretty understanding. Um, if someone messaged me and was like, hey, I really need this item like ASAP, I would do everything I can to get that item in the mail. But, you know. Going to the post office is not a thing every day. So I think that covers everything. If you have any questions about how to sell stuff online, how to sell a Macari, please leave me in comments down below. And I have sold all sorts of stuff. I've sold clothes, board games, um, Funkos, just other random stuff, pins. So if you have any specific questions about like specific items, how to ship them, how to package, um, any questions about the Macari platform, I will link my Macari um, and just leave a referral link down below. I think if you join, you get like $20 off, $10 off. I don't know. You can get a discount on your first order if you join. So there's that. Um, and yeah. I think that's everything. But yeah, feel free to ask any questions you may have about this. I am more than happy to help you. I am by no means like a professional, but I've been doing this for a hot minute and I have never got lower than a four star rating on Macari. Let's just put it that way. And I think I have like 93 completed sales. So pretty good track record. Pretty good track record. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.